Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, continuing in the substation equipment testing series, today we are going to learn about transformer stability test. What is the importance of transformer stability test? How it is conducted? And when to conduct this kind of test? We will see all these things in detail in this video. So let's get started. We know that there are various low voltage testings to be performed on the transformer for routine checkup of the transformer to check the healthiness of the transformer. So transformer stability test is also one of that kind of test. But it is to be performed after performing all this kind of low voltage testings that we have seen in our previous videos in this series. So why is the transformer stability test performed after performing all this kind of test? The reason is that transformer stability test gives you the basic idea if the work that you have conducted on the transformer. Say suppose you have done some wiring changes in the transformer relay or in the panel. Then to just to give it a check that all the wiring is through or not for the healthiness for healthy charging of the transformer transformer stability test is performed just before charging of the transformer so now friends let us see how to perform this test and what are the various material that is required to perform transformer stability test this is the basic bay of a transformer Assuming that this is a 66 by 11 kV transformer, we will see that this is a 66 kV bus through the bus through isolator. The next equipment is a circuit breaker connected to CT current transformer through LA. We can reach the primary bushings of the transformer, right? And on the other side, we have secondary bushing, say 11 kV bushing, LV bushing and LV bushings are connected to the LT panel okay through this kind of cables power cables and inside the LT panel we have CT circuit breaker and other arrangements done so this is the basic bay arrangement for a transformer so friends when we are talking about the differential protection so differential protection is provided basically between the CT of the primary side. This is primary CT up to the CT on the LT panel, right? So between these two CTs, if there is any kind of fault that will be identified in the differential relay, right? So this is the basic idea about the bay of the transformer. And using this, we'll understand the detailed concept about transformer stability test. So friends, now let us see what are the different kinds of material we will require to conduct the transformer stability test. The first one is the three phase supply. Next is different kinds of cables. Next we will require short link. And finally a clip on meter to measure the ampere. So these are the basic small things we will require to conduct the transformer stability test. Now let us once again understand some basics about the transformer. So this is a transformer. There are HVCT connected on to the bushing. Okay, right, you can see over here. And on the other side, we have this LT panel. Let us understand what's inside this LT panel in detail. Okay. For this LT panel, the power cable enters inside the LT panel over here. Then it is connected to a CT, 11 kV CT. Next, we have uh, 
a spout connected over here you can see that the 11 kV bushings are connected to the LT panel through this kind of power cable all three different faces are connected and the neutral is earth over here okay so whenever the circuit breaker closes it gets connected to the 11 kV bus whenever the supply is given over here you will get supply reaches over here so the CT and circuit breaker is closed then it will charge your bus so this is how the basic functions of LT panel is so now whenever you are working on this side of the LT panel it is always advisable to wreck out the circuit breaker and then do your work so let us wreck out or remove the circuit breaker from the LT panel okay now once the LT uh, once the circuit breaker is removed from the LT panel safety advice is to always consider that whenever you are working in the live substation this bus might be always charged okay and because this is connected on the LT of the transformer this section will not be charged so whenever you are working on this section always take care always consider that the 11 kV bus is charged and then you have to consider all the safety norms and work accordingly we have to connect a short link on the LB side of this panel right and we have to provide a three phase supply on the primary side and then we have to measure the currents to perform the stability test now why are this side LV side short circuited because even if you provide a three phase supply to this CT the transformer will charge only on the no load current okay it will because it is not having any load if it is not short circuited it will have no load and the transformer will only charge on the no load current so it is always necessary to provide this short circuit as it will act as a load for the transformer and then we will provide a three phase supply on the primary side of the CT so this is our arrangement basic arrangement to perform this transformer stability test now let us get a closer view inside this panel see before that let us see this uh, arrangement you have to provide R, Y and B phase ok connect over here we will turn on this MCB and you can see the power reaches on the transformer through the LV ok it will come over here and it is short circuited like this so again this is the basic arrangement for a transformer stability test so we know this is how the bay of a transformer is we are going to for performing the stability test basically we are going to measure the amperes over here on this side of the CT primary side of the CT and on the LTCT right so inside this LT panel the arrangement is like this over here you will see the bus bar connections are provided and be behind this shutter you can see that the cable connections are provided so you have to bring the shutter down and you can see this copper parts okay to which we have to provide that link so we have to provide this short circuit link over here and we will measure our currents our ampere at this point and at this point ok so coming back to our basic arrangement we will turn on MCB and you can see the currents will go from primary side of the transformer and reach to the secondary side let us measure the currents 
okay using a clip on meter we will measure the current on the r phase you can see it is 9.10 amperes on y phase it is 9.20 amperes on the b phase it is again 9.10 amperes this is on the primary side of the hvct now we will measure the currents on the secondary side so on the secondary side you can see the ct values are 55.10 amperes okay so let us see how to measure the currents in ryb phase over here see you can see on r phase it is 55.10 for y phase you will have to measure by connecting both the wires and bringing it inside this clip on so you can see the ampere is 55.20 and on the b phase again the ampere is 55.10 amperes so now once all the measurements are done let us make a table of all the measurements and see what we have for hv primary current we have measured in all three phases and it is around 9 amperes for lv pri side primary current is around 55 amperes right so how do we get this kind of results how did we get this results we will understand later in the video basically it is based on the ratio connected ratio of the ct now we will understand more about how the wiring is done from the ct okay and at which points we have to measure current inside the panel okay so this is a basic panel of a transformer inside this you can observe there is energy meter there is a backup relay and there is a differential relay so what happens is from the ct hv side ct you will have three different cores as we have already explained in our ct video and we get we can differentiate different cores based as it is metering core or it is protection core or it is special protection that is used for a differential protection right so based on that the wiring is done from the ct to the panel okay so we will have inside the tb you can see that there are cables coming for metering there are cables coming for differential protection and there are cables coming for metering okay for backup protection for metering and for differential protection these are the cables that are coming from the primary side of the prime hvct secondary side of the hvct right and similarly when we are talking about lv side ct we have wiring for energy meter and we have wiring for the differential protection right so this kind of wiring you can see inside the panel and we have to measure current on all this okay so we can also get idea if there is anything wrong inside the wiring of this transformer so again this is a simplified version of just what i said right now d represents the metering it is given to energy meter then we have this c representing the backup protection of the ct and we have a representing the differential protection on the primary side ct and again this a wires are representing the differential protection but this comes from the lv side of ct okay and uh, the wiring is done from lv side ct to the 66 kv panel okay next uh, if we are again discussing about the transformer lv side panel then we have metering okay and backup protection is given both are into the same lt side panel okay and differential will come into this side hv side panel 
so we have to measure amperes on all this okay so you can measure um, uh, through clip on you can measure ampere on say if you are measuring on the metering side of the hv side panel you can see it is approximately 60.66 milliamperes okay and similarly you can measure for all the cores as in today's time we are having a differential relay which will give you indication which will give you the measurement for r y b all the primary side amperes say you can measure inside this differential relay itself okay and other things it will measure is differential current see it is balanced it is 0 0 amperes that means all the wiring that is done for this transformer is okay and bias current is also shown over here you can to understand what is this bias current and how the differential current relay works specifically we have a video made on this relay and you can see the link in description box for that also now let us make a summary of all the measurements that we have taken we have already understood hv side primary current and lv side primary current next we have measured hv side ct secondary current that will be in milliamperes again it will it is done for metering core for both hv side ct and lv side ct right then next okay let us first understand uh, how do we get this results or how to check if the results that we are getting is right or wrong so based on the hv side ct ratio say 150 by 1 ampere that means whenever there is 150 amperes passing through the hv side okay primary side of the hv ct on the secondary side we will have 1 ampere so accordingly to this ratio whenever there is 9 amperes passing there will be approximately 60.66 amperes milliamperes passing through the secondary current and that is what we are getting over here if we are getting that results that means the your stability test is okay right so on the primary side uh, primary side of lv when we are getting 55 amperes its secondary is showing 300 milliamperes why because the lv side ct ratio is 900 by 5 amperes that means whenever 900 amperes passing through the primary 5 amperes will be indicated on the secondary side according to the ratio we are getting the results over here next we have done this measurement for protection core right again the same thing because the ratio is same and last we are discussed about the differential core so differential core also the result will remain same because the ct ratio is same but when we are talking about lv side ct secondary current you can see the values in the differential core is different why because the lv side ct ratio for differential core is 900 by 0.577 amperes again you want to know the reason for this ratio we have given its detail explanation in the differential relay video please you can check out it in the description box below so according to this ratio you are getting 30 milliamperes over here so this is the basic idea and this is how you can check the transformer stability test so friends that's all about today's video if you have any queries you can ask in the comment section below keep watching our videos thank you